Hello everyone, I'm Andy from the Pixel Pub, and I'm here to talk the games I'm most looking forward to in 2024. Okay, starting out with a game that comes out the closest to when this video is going to come out, and that is Persona 3 Reloaded. Now, I really love Persona 5, I really love Persona 4. Uh, Persona 3 is something I haven't really given a chance. We own it on multiple different consoles and places to play it, but I haven't really given it the time it deserves. Um, I did beat Persona 4 last year on Xbox with Game Pass, and I downloaded Persona 3 Portable, which is the one that's on Game Pass, and I was ready to go, but then they announced this remake, and I said, screw this, and put it on the back burner, I'm waiting for this. I am dying to play another Persona game that I haven't played before, and with these, uh, the style and the graphic style and everything that they've put into it, it just looks like a brand new game. It looks like something that Persona team put a lot of work into, and I am super excited. I cannot wait for Persona 3 Reloaded. Okay, next game is coming out in February 2, I believe, and that is the sequel to my game of the year of 2020, I believe, and that is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I absolutely loved the Final Fantasy VII remake. I love Final Fantasy VII despite its flaws, but the Final Fantasy VII remake uh, is incredibly good. If you haven't played it, you need to play it. If you're an old timer like me and you're a stickler and like, oh, there's no turn-based combat or whatever, it, it's not the same. They're making a bunch of different games that used to be one game. Drop your bullshit and play the game because it's so fucking good. I cannot wait for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The things that they do in Final Fantasy VII Remake is just, I wasn't expecting it. Unprecedented. Just, I am counting the days till this game comes out and I can finally play it. I know it's not going to be the last one. They're probably going to do a third one and that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I just hope I'm not in a retirement home by the time the damn game comes out and not playing it on PlayStation 9 or whatever. But yeah, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The trailers have looked amazing. Just wandering around, it looks like you're in the world. You can see some chocobos. You can see a lot of stuff that happens after you exit Midgard in the original game. It it looks amazing, and I cannot wait to play it. Okay, getting into some more nebulous stuff. The dates on the trailer say 2024. Will they actually come out in 2024? We don't know it, but I'm going by the information I have right now. And the game I'm gonna talk about right now is the Plucky Squire. Now, I've seen a bunch of trailers of this game for the past year and everything it's doing just scratches all my itches. I want more games that channel that Nintendo NES manual artwork looks like early 80s, late 70s anime, but it does so much more like you're, you're running around these picture books, but then you're coming out to a 3D world and you're flying around. Now you're in a, you're running around a pencil case and dodging meteors and you're going up these staircase and dodging uh, rolling rocks it's just it seems like it's doing a lot I hope I hope they can take all that stuff that they're showing off and put it into a cohesive package that is super fun um, and like I said I love the style I love everything that they're showing off um, I'm not sure the release date but I cannot wait let's go Okay, next game, I believe they announced at the Game Awards, and that is Visions of Mana. Now, it is part of the Mana series that Square Enix puts out every so often. It seems like it's it seems like it might, might be making a comeback. They did a remake of Trials of Mana back in 2020, and I fucking loved it. It was amazing. It was a it was a uh, remake of uh, Second and Sensor 3, which we never really got over here in any official capacity outside of like a collection that was on the Switch or whatever, but it was a full-scale 3D remake, and it was amazing. I loved it. Uh, just everything that I love about games, big, colorful worlds, big, colorful characters, uh, blue skies, green grass, hitting people with a sword, all that stuff. Sign me up, and this seems like it's taking that. It's a brand-new game, brand-new mana game, and I am completely on board with what they've showed. It's just, like I said, it's... It's scratching all my edges. Like, I love stuff like that. I wish there were more of it, but I guess if there were more of it, it might not be as special, but uh, I cannot wait to play this. Uh, I hope it's good. The Mana series is absolutely hit or miss for a lot of people, including me. Um, 
We'll see. It's going to be like a flip of a coin. We'll see if it's good or not. Fingers crossed. Okay, next game was announced, I guess, fairly late in the year last year. Big surprise for a lot of people, and that is Hades 2. Um, Supergiant Games first sequel. They've never made a sequel to a game that they made. And uh, I really liked Hades, even though I was really, really bad at it. Um, but I still had a great time with it. I love Greek mythology. I love the artwork that they have in their games. I love the music they have in their games. I think Darren Corbin can do no wrong. In my opinion, Ashley Barrett is an incredible singer. I hope they do a bunch of stuff with them again with this. Um, I know it's coming out in early access this year. I don't know if I'll dabble in it. I don't really don't I don't do early access that much. I have a few early access games on Steam that I mess around with. With stuff that I'm really excited about, I usually wait till it comes out 1.0 and uh, the developer considers it's ready to go. And I am, that's that's where I'm at. So will I play it in 2024? I'm not sure. But it seems like it's gonna hit, come out early access in 24 and I'm ready for it. Hades 2, let's go. Okay, next game is another one I'm Kind of tentative on, but it's a developer I really like. Um, the stuff that kind of be hit or miss too, and that is Unicorn Overlord. Now, it is a game from Vanillaware, and I really like some Vanillaware stuff. Some of the stuff I'm like, yeah, you know, it's really good. They well made, not for me, but just one thing you can't deny is they have incredible art, and uh, that type of stuff can go a long way for me. Incredible music too in a lot of their games. Last game they put out, I believe, was 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, which I dabbled in. Kathy played. To completion, she really liked a lot. Unicorn Overlord seems like it's a throwback to a Tactics Ogre type of game. Um, seems like there's a few things going on based in the trailers that we've seen. Um, and I really want to give it a try. I'm not sure if it's going to be up my alley or not. But it's definitely on my radar and I really want to give it a shot. Okay, next up is a sequel to a game. I didn't really play. The little bit I did play, I didn't jive with too much and that is Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, I have it on Steam. I bought a PS4 copy of The Dark Arisen which has like some DLC extra quality of life changes I believe they made to the 360 PS3 version but I played a little bit of it and I it just yeah, played it last year and I don't know maybe it didn't hold up it was you know 10 year 10 plus years old game maybe it wasn't you know holding up for me but that doesn't change the fact that Dragon's Dogma 2 is incredible, and I'm still going to give it a shot. There's a lot of hype around this game. A lot of people love Dragon's Dogma. I want to know what they love. I want to see what they love. I want to feel that love in Dragon's Dogma 2. Hopefully, fingers crossed, let's go for it. Okay, next game I'm really looking forward to is a, was a surprise for me after the Game Awards. I guess the trailers have been floating around for a few months prior to that. And that is Metaphor Refantasio, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is it is said in the trailers that it's from the developers of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And it looks it, but we'll see what it actually turns out to be. It looks like an action RPG with some of the social elements of the Persona games, looking like you're in a more fantasy environment. It looks like a big desert with a kingdom and like political intrigue. It looks like a somebody stabs a king in the night and Things might happen. You have to you have to run around and do your thing as a persona esque protagonist. And I don't know. Everything I've seen in the trailers looks amazing. I don't really like some of the some of the color choices. It's a lot of brown. Lucy's trying to get into the door right now. But yeah, metaphor Fantasio, I'm ready for it. Okay, next game is another remake slash remaster. If y'all thought 2023 was the year of the remakes of the remasters, then 2024 saying hold my beer because I'm talking about Paper Mario Thousand Year Door the HD remaster of the GameCube version now would I have liked them to start with the original Paper Mario N64 yes I think that game is underrated for a lot of reasons I think a lot of people latch to Thousand Year Door because it's, it's a bit more wild it's a bit more crazy it's got a lot of more crazy characters like Rock Hulk I love Rock Hulk he's the best but this is, I wish it would, would have started with the first one, but they didn't, and that's fine. I'm still gonna play Paper Mario Thousand Door because I love it. I still have my GameCube version over here that I bought day one when it came out because I love the Paper Mario series. But yeah, I love the Paper Mario series, and I cannot wait for this game to drop in 2024. Okay, next game is a game from the Sonic Mania team, which is one of the best Sonic games in 
decades. Uh, it is Penny's Big Breakaway. It is a 3D platformer that takes a lot of inspiration from Sonic, especially with like the color choices. Like it looks very much like a early Sonic game, Spring Yard Zone, a lot of purples and deep reds and yellows and stuff like that. I really enjoy that. And uh, the movement looks very momentum based. They, the team that did made Sonic Mania did an incredible job taking the limits of a 16-bit Sonic game and trying to make a good game in whatever year it came out, 2018, 2017. And I'm super happy to see something they make on their own, not having to adhere to Sega's rules. They can do whatever they want to. And it's a big 3D platformer. I love 3D platformers as long as they're great. And this one seems to be shaping up to be a really, really good one, and I cannot wait to try it. Okay, next game is a game that I'm tepid to put on this list because I'm not sure what it's going to be like, and that is Princess Peach Showtime. Uh, Nintendo seems to be hitting out of the park with a lot of their first-party games here lately. The past couple years, it seems like they cannot lose with just making incredible games, so that's why I'm looking forward to this, even though the trailers don't show a lot. It seems like, you know, you can... It seems like everyone's stealing from Kirby now. Mario is, now Peach. You can, you know, dress up as different things and do different things. You see her as a fencer with a sword. You see her as a, a Sherlock with a uh, magnifying glass trying to figure things out in the scene. It seems like everything takes place on a stage from an audience. And it's on my radar. We'll see what people say about it after it comes out. But, like I said, Nintendo hitting out the part lit, so that's why it's on my list. Okay, last game I'm going to talk about, and I love my Metroidvanias, and it's a sequel to one of my favorites of the year. I played it whenever year it came out in. I can't remember. That's Time Spinner 2. Now, I love Time Spinner. It's definitely a game that took a lot of inspiration from Symphony of the Night. Depending on what day you ask me, Symphony of the Night is one of my favorite games of all time, and any game that uh, picks up where the, that left off, I am completely on board with, and I want to see more of it, and a sequel to one of the games that I think did it the best, I'm very on board with. Um, not sure when it's coming out this year. There's only one trailer. It didn't show a lot, except for it seems like it's using this, the same art style, which I'm fine with. Use what you got, as long as it was good in the first place, and it was for Time Spinner 1. But I love the Metroidvania style games and getting hyped for another one in 2024. It's just right up my alley. So let's go. So yeah, that's my games that I'm looking forward to the most in 2024. If y'all have anything that I you think I missed, just let me know in the comments because you watched the video, you've seen what I like. If you see something it's like, hey, he would like this, let me know. I want all the games. I want to play all the games. Y'all know this. Y'all know me. I want the games. Peace out.